thinly sliced apples, and I did keep the uh, skins on because I just think it adds a, adds a, I, I just like the way it looks in the tart. I've got two apples of thinly sliced pears, and uh, I've got three-fourths of a cup of craisins, apples, pears, craisins, this time of the year, fabulous. I've got a third of a cup of sugar, and in here I have uh, nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, ginger, and if you go to herecomesadreamer.com, you can get this, uh, the exact uh, measurements for all these uh, spices. And then I have two tablespoons of flour. I'm going to mix this together, get it well coated. I have a cookie sheet here. You're more than welcome to make your own pie crust. But I love the pastry uh, pie crust in the dairy section of your refrigerator, uh, in the refrigerator section of your store. It's convenient, and you really just can't tell the difference, and it's easy. I'm going to place this mixture in the middle of this pie crust. I'm going to leave a two-inch border. It's going to be mound in the top, right here in the middle. There's going to be a mound, and that's perfectly fine. So pile it all in there, like this. Get those cranberries. And then I'm gonna come back, and I'm gonna crimp this. Just fold it under a little bit. So it doesn't run over. Just fold it around. And then what you have in the middle, the goody stuff. If it falls apart, just crimp it. All right, so look, I'm gonna make the crumble for the top of this, and this is gonna be fabulous. I've got two tablespoons of butter, and I've got about two tablespoons of sliced almonds, fourth of a cup of brown sugar, fourth of a cup of flour, and about a teaspoon of milk. And I'm just going to give this a mix. I, I'm making a crumble. It's going to be real crumbly. The butter was a, it's going to make it more of a paste, but it's going to melt into this um, tart, and it's going to be absolutely delicious. So we're going to spread this on this tart. I've got my oven preheated to 425 degrees. It's done. The house smells wonderful. It'll be a great dessert for your holidays, or oh, this would make a great breakfast. I hope you tried this recipe. Thank you for tuning in. Bye-bye.